Hello everyone and welcome back to Willow's Notes. In today's video, we will introduce what are the three stages of cell signaling. So get your pens ready and let's start taking notes together. The first stage in cell signaling is called reception, where the signal binds to the receptor. The signaling molecule fits on the receptor like a key and a lock. That's why we say it acts like a ligand, a molecule that specifically binds to another molecule. The binding of the ligand changes the shape of the receptor, allowing it to interact with other molecules. Most receptors are on the membrane and some are inside in the cytoplasm or nucleus. There are three major types of membrane receptors, G-protein coupled receptors, receptor tyrosine kinases, and ion channel receptors, and I will cover each of these receptors in a dedicated video. The second stage in signaling is transduction. The changes that took place in the shape of the receptor will initiate transduction. It requires a sequence of changes in a series of different molecules called relay molecules. What you're seeing here is one molecule getting activated, which activates another molecule, which in turn activates another molecule. So this is what is known as signal transduction pathway. The third and final stage is the response. What should the cell do as a result of the signal? Rearrange the cytoskeleton? Activate specific genes? Maybe catalysis by an enzyme? and so many more responses that we will also cover in a video later on. And now let's see the three stages together. Here we're seeing the signal, what we call a ligand binding to the receptor. It changes the shape of the receptor that activates another molecule in a series of events that we will call signal transduction, where one relay molecule activates another and the other one activates another. And finally, the last activated protein will lead to the response by the cell. Don't forget to like this video, leave comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.